Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am back with part two of the Happy Mail play that, and I was going to show you what I done with the ones that we did last time. But first, I want to say hi and hugs to Helena, Karen, Ellen, and Pam. Thank you so much for watching and for your wonderful comments. Okay, so I changed my mind. I sewed around this one. And I don't know, it's a personal preference, but boy, the sewing just finishes them off nicely, I think. And um, after sewing around the card, I decided I liked it just as it was, the playing card. And then this cute little girl, oh my gosh. And my stitching is not superb <laughs> because I'm using my old sewing machine and it's a little sad, but this one I decided to put a little tabby on the top. And so we'll be saving those for Christmas. And then this little guy, so cute. And I did sew around him, but I decided I would like to have a little, um, a little faux stitching just go right across there. I feel like it needed something right there. So I have this stamp set. It's by Ruby Rocket and it's called Bolt and it's a sewing one. So I'm just gonna pull off one of these little stitches, maybe this little herringbone stitch, um, and grab my, grab my ink, which is really buried. Okay, and we're gonna just, I'm just gonna do a bit, just a bit right there. Just like that. Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like it needed something right there. So that one's done now. Woohoo! And um, let's see. Go ahead and stamp that off a bit. Um, so the next thing I wanted to do is, um, as I said at the end of the last video, that we would do the cardboard stuff. Which, which we will. I just wanted to finish that little guy off. So he was, he was all done. Okay. Um, I got this, once again, I got this in Happy Mail. So I don't know, you would have to search it on Google. Ruby Rocket Bolt Clear Stamp. Okay. So let's see, we have these pieces and I want to put a little gesso on them. First of all is what I want to do. And I think I'm just gonna use a card to do that, I think. So let's do that. Then they can be drying so we can go on with those. Oh, sorry, having a tough time getting that open. Um. So I'm just going to put a little on my mat there and then I'm just going to use my card and swipe it across and just kind of gesso those up a little bit. Really it's just to give them a little more interest and um, a little more, uh, I think it gives it a little more depth too. Okay, so we'll set that one aside to dry. Where? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe up here is the best place. Um, and yeah, let's, let's do them all and then we'll just have them. I have this suitcase of a bunch of stuff, some of which is cardboard, that I just need to get out and have a play with. Great idea that one of my subbies gave me was to try and make a journal out of everything in my fruit box in that is where all my scraps live. I thought that was a fantastic idea. So I think we'll, we may do that. Okay, this one, I'm just going to kind of
Okay, we'll set those all aside to dry and then we'll do something with that. So all of that was packaging from the Happy Meal. Okay, I have just some, just have some uh, coffee dyed paper I'm just going to clean up with so I don't waste any of the paint. We'll just make some fun little little pieces to play with with collage or whatever. Love that. Okay. Let's see, do I have one more? One more something? How about this one? We'll just all right. All right, we'll put those up to dry too. Little pieces of, those are the pieces of coffee dye that was left when we bathed the cards and stuff. Okay, just so back where it goes. Card back where it goes. Ew, it's still gooky. Let's get a, not super gooky, just a little bit gooky. <laughs> Different varying levels of gookiness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I probably made that word up. I'm not sure that that's a word, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so gosh, my hands are all dirty. I do apologize if my fingernails look gross. I um I went out and gardened for about an hour pulling weeds. Oh my gosh. We've had so much moisture that the weeds have just been so happy that they have just gone crazy. Okay, so we'll let those dry while we play with some other stuff. Okay, so this little itty bitty tag was on one of Jenny's things. And um, so I thought... It's so cute. I was thinking about like these little pieces from this napkin that that would be cute. I don't, do I have a little piece? Yep, little piece of music. So I'm gonna put that little piece of music there and then um, put on the bird. Let's see, where's my glue book? Oh, right here, right in front of my face. So another really good idea and so, um, making a journal out of, so I need to write these down, making a journal out of, um, journal from scrap pile. And then the other one was, Gal wants me to do a video of where I sit, of just sitting down with the camera and saying, you know, this is what's within hands distance. So, um, it's kind of 360 of, um, desk kind of. Okay. Now I won't forget those. I just did comments right before doing this video. Okay. My, that part is falling apart up there. <laughs> I've got something under my, um, under my gesso that's making it not sit properly so that's happening okay so then I think I'm gonna just ooh -hoo the entire tag and of course I'm gonna get some edging there but let's then let's take this and go like right there, maybe. Okay, I don't like how that is straight. So need to, should have, should have done that earlier, but that's okay, I can do it now. There, that 
that's better. Ever so much better. That's English accent as I can go, being from Montana. <laughs> All I know is better. <laughs> My sister-in-law is from London, and so... Um, Oh, you know, I could listen to her talk all day. Okay, so that is super cute. Now, what I want to do is give it a little, of course, what distress. A little around the edges. And then that's a little, little tag that was from the Happy Mail that can now live in my ephemera box to be used cute that's cute right hope that's in frame for me to show you anyway I think it's cute okay so that's going in there all right back to our then we were doing these cards weren't we oh yeah, we were going to do these cards if we had time, but I wanted to play with this too. This is a jelly printed envelope. Isn't that fun? Feels really cool. And love the, um, love the washi on it. But I thought, let's see what we have to play with there. I mean, this guy is just too cute for words, isn't he? Okay, let's see what else there might be to go on there. Ooh, I've got, I've got these vintage um, cards here. Would they have anything we could use? How fun is that, though? They're not even written in. I really want to use those as birthday cards, so I'm not going to use those. <laughs> I'm going to put those with my with my good cards. So I'm going to set those up there. Okay, so much for using those. We're not going to do it. Just not going to do it. Let's see what else is over here. Um... Okay, so one thing that's here that I know about, oh, and that little guy, um, is this. This piece of chipboard was in the Happy Mail, and that was just um, to hold the pages nicely. So this piece of chipboard I'm going to turn into a writing board for the Boho Journal that we're working on. So um, in my brain, that is our next video, I think. So I'm going to set that up with the Boho stuff. And this is a lovely little pouch. Oh, yeah, that's what these were in. Okay, let me just take a quick gander through here. Oh, let's do Benjamin Bunny. That's right. Let's use some of those images on that envelope. Because they are so sweet. One's a little big. That's a cute one. That one's a bit big. So, oh, look at that sweet baby bunny. It's so cute. Do I have to choose? I have to choose between that one and this one. I think I'd choose this one. I love that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tear around this. It's already kind of in a in a bit of a 
like a little circle, little oval. I don't know. Ah! Do not tear off Benjamin Bunny's tail, Gail. And we're not allowed to lop off ears either. Okay, we got it. Okay, now I'm just going to tear it so it's aesthetically pleasing to me. Let me pull a little bit off of right here. And a little bit off of right here. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Okay. So I love that. Would like something underneath of it. Which, what if, is there, like right in the middle of this, would there be enough napkin? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it right down there. Okay, so we're just going to tear this. Okay, I will do... Do I have my water brush thing in the jiggy here? Does it have any water in it? See why I never use it? I never use it because I never have water. <laughs> um, and to get water in it, I don't know, this could be a disaster, guys. I'm going to be making a big mess here using my big old jug, but every time I don't do it this way, y'all leave me comments that I, there's an easier way, and I uh, know, but I never have water. Okay, yep, I dripped, but wasn't as disastrous as it could have been. I would give it on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe a 4. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh. Yep, go over the garbage can here. Okay, slightly wet, slightly wet. Okay, but you won't be able to leave me any of the water is making, water makes it easier to tear comments, will ya? <laughs> Hello. I obviously haven't used this thing. I need water. I need water. There it is. It's okay. 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 Look, we have water. I don't know how big I want it, but maybe about that big. Probably not that big. <laughs> because see how easy that tears. It's like Gail. Why don't you use water to tear your napkins? <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. You know that. I'm just teasing you. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that. And then maybe we just cut that part off. Okay, now I can use this because it has water in it. That's good. All right. Um, I think what I am going to do is put glue on the envelope, not on the napkin because that's not going to work. <laughs> lovely, lovely. And I'll just cut off this little extra bit here. Being careful not to cut the envelope. Okay. That's fun. This guy needs a little bit around him, I think. Oh. 
adorable. Simply adorable. Just going to put him over there. And this is kind of working with the um, the thirds idea. Third, third, and third. Usually if you set things up in, in thirds like that, it's going to be pleasing to the eye. So now that we have you on there, Benjamin Bunny, what would we like to do up here? We could do a stamp. We could do a label. I think a label might be nice. Ooh, you know, let's see. What did I do with Roxy Creations new labels? Maybe they are in here. They are in there, but looks like I may have used the one I was thinking of, but would this pink one work? I really wanted the other color because that, but I only have one set printed out. That's okay. Don't want green. Might there be we can keep that but might there be what about that one mm, no one more to try here which is this one Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, that's just more fun, isn't it? Yeah, I like that one. Okay, where'd this one come from? Came back from back here. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I just want to, vintage that up at just a skosh. Okay, that is super cute. I'm going to go this way. Sorry, I got to get it down here where I can see that I'm putting it on evenly. Oh, cute. That is a sweet little envelope. And let's see, on the back, we are going to do, there's a lot of writing about financial fitness <laughs> in the back. So let's put some washi tape over all that. Um... Uh, I'm just going to look. I don't have Maddie to come to get my washi tape for me, so I have to get up all on my own. Um, such a hardship, right? I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, it's got some of the browns and stuff of that. And we're just going to do, just going to do the length of the envelope. I guess I'll just cut it right there and then we can trim it if need be. There's this little uh, sign down here that says recycle, please. You got it. <laughs> we can do that. That's what we do. 
and recycle. Ah. There we go. Okay. Get that kind of right to the edge and right along the other washi. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we cut that off. And then really, I need to put one more something, but I need a little thinner one. How about... this. So I got this in Happy Mail as well. And it's um, it's fabric washi, but that looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to do that. That's good. Using another thing from ha a different Happy Mail, but that's okay, right? Okay, let's just... Give that an extra little dab of oohoo. Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay. There we go. So that cute little envelope is ready to go into a journal. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, then the other thing up here that I was thinking I wanted to play with a little bit is this little, um, this little, whatever it is, little folder. It's got little tiny lines on the back. But I was kind of thinking, if one had it this way, you could tip it in. Would it be fun to have like a little pocket on the back? What do we have left here? Um... Just a cool piece that I need to keep for whatever reason. That cute little girl in her first communion. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we need something a little. Oh, here we go. We need something a little more vintagey looking than that. Um, is there something in here? that. Not bad. Kind of same time period-ish. I'd like to have, ooh, how about that? It is funny when you, um, you know, tell yourself you're limited to working with this or that how it's kind of it's just kind of fun to try and figure out stuff that will that will go isn't it I wonder I'm kind of wondering if this is the same size as a project life card because I need to do something to stiffen it up, you know, because it's, if it's going to be a tuck spot or pocket. Okay, it just fits to be a pocket. It could be a tuck spot. 
I kind of like the idea of a pocket. Let me get, okay, I don't think I got any other Project Life cards. Let's just grab one here and see if it's about the same size. Oh yeah, perfect. So then that beefs that up a bit. It's a little bit long, so I would have to cut it off with just a smidgen. Okay, we are going to do this side in case it shows through at all. We're just going to thicken her up here. I'm just going to line that up as best as I can. Oh yeah, now that's that's thick enough to Okay, I'm just going to take off the tiny edge. It's showing. And we've got ourselves a little pocket. And I, what I'm wondering is if we can maybe make the um, playing card into something to go into our pocket, perhaps. That's where my head's at, at the moment. Okay. So, yes, that just fits pretty perfectly right there. So let's put that on as a pocket just for fun. I do think I need to look and make sure I have that right side up. That would be like me to do. Right? Yeah. The colors are really good too, aren't they? Okay. Yes, I like that. Okay, so let's look at our little cards that we had ready. See, I think that could go in there nicely as a tag. Maybe this one could too. I don't know. Yep. So let's think about this and what we want to put on it. Okay, there's some browns, which is good. There's I have this paper. Ooh, I just saw. Let's have another idea here. Look at, let's look in here from from Jenny. Ooh, she's got bits. I have bits that I forgot that were in there that I could be using. Oh yeah, there's these bits. Yay! These are from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. Oh, look at how cute that is. Um. So there's some cute things there that we could use. Okay, well, that's good. But what I was actually kind of looking at was this. This is napkin on freezer paper that Jenny does. I mean, I'm actually kind of thinking we could go the easy route and not collage, but just cover. might do that. I think we just might. Okay, so I'm going to just want to, oh, right. I don't know. Well, I'll probably, I'll sew around it, won't I? So that's okay. We'll just put this in the middle. And then I think once we do this one, we better look at our cardboard and see where we're at with drying. Okay. Then we can, um, can do that. But 
Let's cut this. So cool, Jenny. That's just, oh, that's just really a fun little card right there. And we'll just, um, we'll go ahead and ink the edges and then it really just needs to be sewn around. Maybe have a little, I know there were, Maybe we'll put that little bow on there because it goes nicely with the with the purple. I think that's what that's what we're gonna do. What was I gonna do? Ink it. That's what I was gonna do. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, that was loud. How are we doing time wise? Okay, we're at 36. Well, we're not going to, maybe we can do one of the, um, I'm just going to sew this really fast just so we can get the full view. Um, it maybe not very fast <laughs> I'm really not very good on my old sewing machine I'm so used to my new one okay so we are gonna put a little glue right there probably Fabri-Tac might be the best I don't know but I'm gonna try the art glitter and see how we do I'm gonna pop that right there because I don't want to put it at the top because it'll cover up Mr. Butterfly. But, so, now, we've got a little card on the, little card and pocket on the back of that. I feel like I want to do a few things on the front because it's just, it's just very flat. You know, there's not a lot of texture to it. So, we can add some texture to it with with some lace maybe i mean we could put a little of this in a couple spots maybe let's do that let's put that right there right about here um anyway and then um i don't know if i'm gonna have stuff in my happy mail to layer up a layer up one of the um, cardboard things, but I reserve the right to cheat and grab something else. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of nice right here. Little fabric there. I'm thinking about, do I want some over here too? I think I'll go this way. Glad I found this little Happy Mail um, fabric tape stuff. Okay, so we put that there. That's nice. I kind of like got a little, I got a few things of lace up there that might that might work. What if we put lace across the top like that? I think I will. And then the other thing I thought about doing is Depending on where you want to use this in the journal, could 
grief. I have such a hard time with this lace deciding which side is up. We're going to put that side up. Um, anyway, the other thing I think we could do is, hang on, got to get this straight. Um, is put a little hole and a little um, grommet in that and hang a charm off it. That would be cute, wouldn't it? So that might be something we did would do later. Oh yeah, that's stuck on there. Good job, Art Glitter Glue. So there we go. There's our fun little... That's fun. Okay, so let's grab ourselves. We've got multiples. Let's see, that one's still wet. Are you dry pretty much? pretty much dry okay I mean we have we have these oh we also have these hearts that could maybe be fun they're they're eco dyed paper but they're shiny so those are fun too um why am I feeling like I'm feeling like that's a little big let's do this one Let's see if there's an image in here that speaks to us for these. That's cute. Look at how cute that is. Let's cut that out and see if we want to use that. This was a fun little book to play with some images out of, wasn't it? Okay, so it's got little bunnies. Always, always bunnies. I also got such an amazing bunny book cover that I might have to do a bunny journal here. I mean, it'd be so tough, wouldn't it? <laughs> to work with that subject matter. I uh, Yeah. Okay, so, oh, are you too big? Yeah, I like that. I like that better on that one. I like how this is jaggedy, and this edge is real perfect. So let's just kind of tear it up a bit. Okay, that makes me happier there. Um, I think we could put that on there. I like the heart on it just because those two look like they're little lovebirds. Yeah, but I need I need some stuff. I need Oh, that's cute. Look at this blue with her little blue outfit that she's got on. Yeah, I might have that underneath there, maybe. I think I want some cheesecloth around it. Oh my goodness, come apart to you. Okay. Okay, let's let's start doing some assembly here. I'm feeling crowded. Excuse me guys, if you go over there. want to go around this. Let's go around this. And perhaps a little on the edges here. Oh yeah. A little gesso on my 
Oh, my vintage photo sponge. Okay, so kind of wanted that up there. I think what I'm gonna do is go with uh, go with the art glitter because I think it's just gonna maybe hold just a bit better on this corrugated cardboard. Let's do that. right there ish okay and then I want to put that kind of on there um, I wonder if I do that yep that's going to be just fine And I'll do this around the edge of this. Put them right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Sweet little people. Don't know who the illustrator of this little decoupage booklet thing is, but they they do a good job. Okay, there's a little heart. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I feel like it needs a word too. Um, maybe. Okay, so let's really jaggedly kind of chop that and do we want like a little word or something across there maybe what do I have within hands reach things over. Let's see what we have here. I might be too big. Because there's my favorite. I could cut that down, put that on there. Let's try it. We won't know till we try, right? I'm going to just snip it right up to the word. These were these were leftovers from um, that were printed. Yep. So it's um, fabric, but it's on freezer paper and then run through the printer, although these were the scraps and so I just stamped it. Okay guys, I can't get it apart. Let's see. Let's try one of these. Here we go. Just got to get it started, you know. Yeah, that's going to be so cute. Okay, well, that I would say... Love that. That's so cute. I would say that I, I probably better look at my time and see where we're at. Yeah. So look at that. Isn't that so cute? And that'll be fun. That could be a tuck spot. You know, I mean, it's thick cardboard. It could be a tuck spot. Or you could use it on the front of a small journal or whatever. But we just used the, what we had, kind of, other than, granted, the cheesecloth. So, that is so fun. Well, let's see. We have 10 minutes, don't we, ish? Yeah, we really do. 
So let's let's kind of see if we can do another one with something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if there's another thing in here that would work. Small enough. How about that rose? That might be fun. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to fussy cut it out, though. That's going to take a minute. Um, I'm excited, though, because we have kind of a good little pile of ephemera here. That's exciting. Uh, I'm going to use my little... I'm thinking about for this one. I don't know. I'm going to use my cutter bees. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick up my mess. I've, I've had enough fun for one day. <laughs> I'm going to pick up my mess and get back to doing the boho journal because we'll do that. And then, um, that will be fun. Got a couple other things coming up that are exciting that I'm excited to share with you when the time comes. That's a little teaser. That's what that is. I wish I was as quick at this as um, Rachel at Roxy Creation. She just whips around them. I'm probably too much of a perfection perfectionist. And, but I think this will be pretty on, on this and I'm not sure what to back it with. Ooh, I have an idea because we have that, um, rose tissue paper. I wonder if I put that and then layer something on top of that. I mean, you know, possibilities are just endless. That's what's so fun about just playing. But it is kind of fun to have a finite amount of stuff to work with because you don't spend as much time going, hmm, should I use this or should I use that? You know, because you've just only got a few things to pick from. <laughs> so I think it's kind of it's kind of nice that way. Okay. Almost there. Sorry, guys. Almost there. I suppose I should take a couple evenings and just cut out the things in there and then they'd be ready. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice. Okay. I think it might be worth the wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's move these and let's, so my thought was, see this stuff, where is my small, I had a small piece, didn't I? Is this my small piece? Nope. Oh my goodness, see this drives me crazy. I can't stand to have this much of a mess over here. <laughs> but when I am, but when I'm doing a video, it's okay, I guess. Okay. But then what I'm thinking is if I did paper behind it. Like that. Like that. And then it's just mostly the green that's down in the red part. Okay, I'm liking that. But I think I want... I have this little itty bitty piece of cheesecloth. 
I'm feeling like I would like it to kind of come out from the side here. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to do. It's hard to glue on tissue paper, but I wanted it to stick better than it would have if I put the glue on the corrugated cardboard. Okay. But here, I'm going to down the cheesecloth. Put this down. Ew, I need a new glue page too. Let's just pull that out a little bit. Leave some white on the top there. Little bit cheesecloth coming out that side. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get rid of the little white edges from fussy cutting. Okay. And then gonna put that on there like so things I would like to do on this one. I'm going to give it some distressing on the edges. Okay. And then I think what I'm going to do is grab a piece of this, which was also from Happy Mail. So I am sticking with the theme and I think I'm going to just I'm not going to put it over the front, I don't think. Oh, nope, I think I will. I like that. Okay, and all I'm going to do is cut it. And I'm not going to put it in my sewing machine because it's thick. So what I'm going to do is use my Timmy Holtz Tiny Attacher. And... Give it a few staples. Maybe one down the middle, don't you think, for good measure? There we go. Super cute little tag, little floral tag. I love it. So very fun. Okay, so super quick, we're going to run through what we've done with this Happy Mail. And there's a whole stack. It's so fun. Okay, so there's this one. Just finished. There's this one. That I love those little kids. There is this little, um, like, file foldery thing that we add the little texture to and then put a pocket with a, a journaling card on back. And this cute little envelope that turned out so cute. So that can go in. Oh, we did this teeny tiny, teeny tiny little, just covered up the, the writing that was on there and reused it. We added a little stitching to this little card, all sewn around and ready to go. And then these that I showed you at the beginning that I sewed. So we have quite a batch from this batch. And thank you, Lynn, for asking about cards and game pieces and such. This was a game piece. It's just hard to believe at this point, isn't it? And then the playing card. So thanks for, and then these two were made by Jenny and I just put a few things on that made me happy and sewed around them. 
Okay, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.